Namaste and welcome back. Let's get an idea on finding the equation of a circle if its center is given and passing through the center of another circle. In the given figure, we are supposed to find the equation of a circle drawn in red color, which has the center 2 comma minus 3. And this circle is passing through the center of another circle. Here we have drawn in green color. And it has the center h comma k. But the problem is only the equation of the green colored circle is given. So first of all, we will try to simplify the given equation of green circle in a standard form and find its center. Let's do this first. We have x square plus y square minus 4x plus 20y plus 4 is equal to 0, which is the equation of green circle. This can be solved using the idea of factorization. First, we keep x square and minus 4x together. We'll repeat same with y square plus 20y. And we write the remaining as plus 4 is equal to 0. Now we write x square minus 4x as x square minus 2 into x into 2. As 2 into x into 2 is same as 4. If we compare this with the formula, a square minus 2ab plus b square is equal to a minus b whole square, then this 2 is in place of b. So we also had 2 square here that is outside the question. And we need to balance this. So we also write minus 2 square. Let's follow similar technique with y square plus 20y also. And that can be written as y square plus 2 into y into 10. As above, this 10 when compared with a square plus 2ab plus b square is in place of b. So we add 10 square. And to balance this uh, that we have written from outside, we write minus 10 square also. After this, the remaining so we'll write as same. That is plus 4 is equal to 0. Now let's change these three terms as in formula and write as a minus b whole square form. So we write x minus 2 whole square plus same way we will do for y square plus 2 into y into 10 plus 10 square. That can be written as y plus 10 whole square. Now let's write the remaining. This minus 2 square can be written as minus and 2 square is equal to 4. And this minus 10 square can be written as minus and 10 square as 100 plus 4 is equal to 0, all from above. After this, we can cancel plus 4 and minus 4, uh, which are the same values with a different sign. Now, above equation can be written as x minus 2 whole square plus y plus 10 whole square minus 100 when taken on the other side 
that is on the right side will become plus 100 and even that 100 can be written as 10 square so let's write this directly here if we compare this obtained equation with our standard form that is x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to r square we get the center of the green circle as h is equals to let's compare the sign first minus sign from the obtained equation and minus sign from the formula minus minus will be plus so we get h as 2 in the same way k can be written as plus sign from the obtained equation and minus sign from the general or standard form of equation so plus minus will be minus so we'll write minus 10 here and radius is equal to 10 units now according to the question this center is the passing point of this red colored circle Not noticing the figure this point 2 comma minus 3 and this point that is 2 and minus 10 form the radius this way let's find the radius using the distance formula so we can continue as d is equals to under root distance formula is x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square now let's take x1 is equal to 2 and y1 is equal to minus 3 that was the center of the red colored circle similarly we suppose x2 as 2 and y2 as minus 10 that we obtained solving the green color circle and uh, putting these values in the above distance formula we get r is equals to under root 2 minus 2 whole square plus y2 is minus 10 and minus from the formula and minus from y1 it will be plus 3 here whole square let's solve this r is equals to this 2 and 2 get cancelled so 0 will be there and 0 square is 0 so no need to write that now it becomes under root minus 10 plus 3 is minus 7 square and that is root under 49 and we can write r is equals to 7 units now up to this we have already found a radius for our circle which is in red color that is 7 units and h and k which are the center of the red colored circle was already given by the question as 2 and minus 3 now we will use these values of radius h and k in the standard form of the circle to get the equation of the required circle let's do that as x minus now in place of x question has given two so it will be x minus two whole square plus y minus k and in place of k minus three was given so that minus from three and minus from the formula will become plus and three square here and radius we have already calculated using the distance formula and with the help of the center of the another circle and that was 7 so let's write 7 square directly now let's break 
the above equation using the formula a minus b whole square and a plus b whole square. So it will be a square minus, sorry, x square minus 2 into x into 2, which will be equal to minus 4x plus 2 square is 4 plus. Uh, now from this, y square plus 2 into y into 3 is 6y plus 3 square is 9 is equal to 49. We are very close to our answer. Now we'll write x square plus, let's write y square near to it, minus 4x plus 6y, and then this 4 and 9 when added will become plus 13, and this 49 when taken on the side will be equal to minus 49 is equal to 0. So finally, solving all these, we get x square plus y square minus 4x plus 6y minus 36 is equal to 0. So this is the solution for our today's question. Thank you for your patience throughout the video. I hope I was able to solve your next curiosity today. Please share the content and channel. If you like the video, see you again. Bye bye.